Mistake number one, wrong side step. Many people, when they just start and learn how to do the foot or their toes, will always point forward. This will cause them to sprain their ankle very easily. For a correct side step that you need to land with the heel, you need to keep your weight below, then do the long step. And the most important thing is here, your toes need to point to the shuttle direction. Mistake number two, wrong first step to the back court. This mistake is always happen when people rush to the shuttle. In this case, it's because they don't do the initial step and start with their non racket step. This is the correct one, that you need to start with your racket foot and plus initial step, then do the shuffle step to reach your shuttle. If you don't know what is the initial step, make sure to watch my foot or video after watch this. Mistake number three, no scissor kick when you jump it back. This mistake usually happens to the beginners or intermediate players due to they not used to step their scissor kick step and turn their upper body when they hit the shuttle. The correct motion make sure to start with your non racket foot and racket foot push to the back and do the scissor kick step like this. Mistake number 4, no body rotation during the launch. Another common mistake I found is that people sometimes when they run to the backhand front courts, their upper body not used to turn which make their net shot or net kill inconsistency. This is the correct motion and step. As you can see here, my motion is doing like I'm going to hit the net shot but the points here. You can see my upper body turn a little bit so I can make my motion be more smoothly and it will help me to stable my shot and more space to generate power. Let's say number 5, no turn it at the overhead side. Here is another backhand side common mistakes that people rush to the shot and don't turn their body. In this case, player would lose their balance and hard to move back and get ready for a next shot. Here's the correct one. You can see I push my racket foot in order to generate power so I can turn my upper body to hit the shuttle. This helps me to open up the space at the overhead side and to apply body rotation generate more power if I'm going to attack. So there are 5 common mistakes that you need to avoid and there's a 5 correct one that I just showed you. Try it and then implement it into your games. Let me know. If you have first time to watch my videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell. I'll see you guys next week.